What is up guys? We are continuing our CES 2020 coverage and we had time to stop by the Fantech suite and they had two cases as well as a new audio product that really caught our attention. Our CES 2020 coverage is brought to you by Kingston's A2000 entry level NVMe solid state drive. With up to one terabyte of capacity and three times the performance of a traditional SSD at about the same price. So starting with the cases, you have the Enthu Pro 2. And if you're familiar with the Enthu Pro, you really know that it is a really sort of professional or enthusiast grade case. It's not some, you know, normal mid tower or anything like that. Now this new one internally is pretty much based on the Enthu 719. So if you're familiar with that case, the internal layout is pretty much the same there. Now with this case, it is a big case. It's actually one of the largest cases that we saw at CES. Being that it is so big, you have room for a lot inside. Like the other Enthu Pro, you can do a dual system, but this time the actual ITX bracket is installed. It comes with the case. You don't have to worry about buying it extra. So that is a plus there. This case is also so big, you can fit full, you know, dual sockets, server motherboards in there, XL ATX, extended ATX, it can all fit in this case. And being that it is so big, you can definitely do a crazy water cooling setup. Now talking about cooling, one of the new things with this case is that the front has um, their new fabric mesh. This fabric mesh is made for high airflow, so you're gonna get a lot of air flowing through this case. There are room for up to 15 fans here. So there's 15 fan spots in this case. So you can definitely deck it out with a bunch of fans. When it comes to water cooling, you can fit 480 millimeter rads in the top or in the front and in the side. Um, and then when it comes to hard drives, you can load this thing up with up to 10 hard drives. So a ton of space in this case for sure. Now, one thing that's really great about this case is the price. It is $130 and it's not gonna come with any fans, which kind of makes sense because I think a lot of people kind of want to deck this out with their own fans. Um, but at $130, you're really getting a professional or enthusiast grade product with so many options as far as what you can install inside and everything like that. I think it is a great value. It's only gonna be available in black, so no other color options, and it will be available in April. Next up, we have the Eclipse P500A, and the A is gonna stand for airflow. So with this case, you have a mesh front as well. And one thing that's really interesting about the mesh on this case is that it's a single piece of mesh that's sort of been bended around the front panel. Um, so you don't have you know, a plastic piece or anything like that holding the mesh. I really like that. It's gonna provide better airflow and, and all of those good things. So definitely a really cool design there. Now, internally, this case is pretty much the same as Fantex uh, P600S, but this is the P500S. So it is technically a little bit smaller, um, but inside you can fit motherboards up to extended ATX. You can also do the uh, dual system, although the ITX bracket will not be included with this one. You can do a 420 millimeter radiator at the front and a 360 up top. So lots of room for cooling in this as well. One thing just like the Enthu Pro 2 is that this case is going to be very affordable. So they're gonna offer one version uh, with no fans, which will be $99. And they're gonna offer a second version, which is gonna be $129.99. That's gonna come with three of the digital RGB fans. So again, $99 for basically a system that can fit a ton of water cooling, EATX motherboards I think is great. And then $130 basically for a case that can do all of that. Plus you get three digital RGB fans in a controller, just an extra 30 bucks. I think that's incredibly affordable. So I think this is gonna be definitely one of the cases to look out for this year. It will be available in March. And I don't know if I told you guys or not, but it will be available in both black and white versions. So yeah, Fantex makes audio products now. So we saw their Evolve uh, mini speakers get made just because people wanted them. 
Um, and now we have the next iteration of that, which is the Evolve soundbar. Now, this soundbar is designed to look like their Evolve Shift cases. So if you're familiar with the Evolve Shift, you kind of know what that design looks like. Um, but I think it looks really cool and it actually sounds really good as well. It's not just some kind of crappy sound bar. The sound is actually really good. Um, they demoed it for us there in their suite. It has two digital RGB strips that go down each side. And these, or one thing that's really cool about the whole RGB thing is that there's actually gonna be RGB headers on the sound bar itself. So one, you know, one thing that's really cool about that is that you can connect you know their rgb strips to this because the controllers on the actual soundbar meaning that you can you know set up rgb around your desk or whatever very easily and of course it's going to go with the speakers and everything's going to be in sync which i think is really cool another cool thing that you can do is that you can you know get two of these and set them up as sort of desktop speakers and they connect to each other wirelessly um, that is also really cool and they had that demo for us as well and it sounded really great. Now, this is just a prototype right now. They said they wanna keep the price under $100. Expect to see more at Computex, but I would expect this to release sometime in Q3. So that is it for Fantex at CES 2020. We have the Enthu Pro 2, we have the Eclipse P500A, and then we have the awesome little sound bar. If you have any questions about these products, go ahead and leave it in the comment section below. And be sure to check out our CES 2020 playlist. We'll see you guys in the next video.